there and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to use Google Sheets as a database with software. Google Sheets is a very popular tool for quickly setting up databases, especially for individuals and small teams. We will review the pros and cons of using Google Sheets as a database and its use cases. So first and foremost, let's talk about some of the advantages of using Google Sheets. Google Sheets is very low cost. It's a free alternative for more advanced database management systems, and it is suitable for very small budgets. Number two, it is easy to set up and manage, similar to Microsoft Excel with a shallow learning curve, and it only requires a Google account for setup. Something else that's nice is that it is very simply a cloud-hosted data source, and data stored on the cloud is accessible from anywhere with an internet connection. Number four is that it is really convenient and collaborative. Familiarity with Google Suite and Gmail makes adoption really easy. It has awesome real-time and asynchronous collaboration, and there's a great transparent version history for changes and revisions. It integrates well with other tools through the cloud. Some of these available integrations are made really easy with tools like Zapier. For example, in this case, it would automatically update data into your CRM if you have a new lead, submit a form or something like that. Now, there are some limited parts to using this amazing tool, and that is because it's not necessarily designed for complex databases, and it is also unable to store images or videos. It lacks a built-in interface for querying or updating information, and it has limited storage and scalability, so it makes it unsuitable for large teams and companies due to storage limitations, and it is not scalable for complex databases. When many users are within a Google Sheet as well, you're gonna find out there are some performance issues and this uh, slowdown that you'll see ends up happening more and more as the data set grows. So it's not really ideal for handling huge, large amounts of data. As you add more data, you might be scrolling through hundreds of rows or columns as it is not intuitive to make huge spreadsheets readable. So with that being said, who should use Google Sheets as a database? It's suitable for individuals and small teams with budget constraints, and it is a decent option for projects not expected to scale significantly. Some use cases of this could include things like powering no-code web apps. So Google Sheets can be used as a data source for a no-code platform like us here at Software or AppSheet. Building inventory databases is also a great option and a good use case for this, so it's ideal for small teams managing inventory in a small scale. CRM platforms can can be powered using Google Sheets for smaller teams with limited budgets. And as a database for WordPress, it's useful for collecting form submissions on WordPress sites. So in order to utilize Google Sheets as a database, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the application settings in your software account and go to data sources. So you can see I already have one here, but I'm gonna go to the top right section here and I'm gonna click on connect gate data source and then click on Google Sheets. Following through with that, Essentially what we're gonna do is go through the O authentication on your Google account, press continue. And then from there, see that it adds it to your account. Now what you can do is you can select your Google Sheets account on the software dynamic blocks and choose any sheet from your library. Also when adding a template, as I mentioned, say we we're gonna use something like a sales CRM. Let's type that into our templates. You notice that when I press use template and select data source, I can pick this Google Sheets integration. And then from there, it's going to create the Google Sheet. And then inside of go to application, you'll see that if I go to any of the blocks that connect to a data source, boom, it has the document. Now, this ends up aligning with the sheets sheet by sheet as well as the document itself. You can choose any of the different sheets from your library and documents. Once you have this integration set up, as you can see, I have all these other spreadsheets in there. And to use Google Sheets as your data source, you need to have on the first row, the name of all of your fields, and in the rows below, store the database records. Simply, these would be sort of like properties inside of your system and then everything below it is the data inside of it, similar to what you'd find in something like an Airtable. Then you'll see here that there is this little record ID. So when you link a sheet to a software block, a new column will be created in your database named software record ID. And this allows software to refer to it. So when it's updated inside of here, then as a reference point in order to update the data inside of software. 
So Google Sheets is a good option for small scale or infrequently updated data, but it's not recommended for businesses requiring a scalable database. Software can enhance Google Sheets databases to build fully functional web or mobile apps. And if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more insights into software. Share this video with anyone looking to elevate their data presentation game. As always, drop your questions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.